Hey guys, what's up? It's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to do a first impression wear test of the new Hourglass Vanish Veil Liquid Foundation. So I don't have the full size product right now because it launches on Friday, January the 25th. What I have is actually a deluxe sample size from Sephora when I purchased my moisturizer. So I thought it might be good to test it out before it launches on Friday so you guys could know like my thoughts, my initial thoughts and opinions about this. To be honest, I was really going to buy the full size product but then I saw this sample size at Sephora and I was like, oh my gosh. This is the perfect time to try it without purchasing it so that if I don't like it, I don't have to waste a full bottle and return it when I don't like it. But yeah, I still have a bunch of foundation that I need to finish up. And most of the time, I purchase new foundation to try it out and test it for you guys. So yeah, enough with my babbling. Let's go ahead and apply this foundation. So one of the claims of this foundation is the fact that you don't have to use a primer underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply primer on this side of my face and this side I'm going to leave it alone and just have my sunscreen and moisturizer intact. So I'm using the Too Faced Hangover on this side of my face. So on Hourglass's Instagram account, they were answering a lot of questions about the foundation. They suggested that if you have dry skin, apply it with a beauty blender. So that's what I'm going to do now. Look at this cute little mini bottle. And they also say that the half pump goes a long way. Like you only need half of a bump to fill up your entire face to fill up your entire face to cover your entire face so oh this is cute this is the it's actually a glass bottle wow hourglass for the look sample size huh? so yeah it comes with this like this little spatula and where are we going to start with the primer or without the primer let's start here so I'm not going to apply concealer today just because I really want to see how the foundation wears. And also, before I forget, I got this in the shade beige. I got myself shade matched when I was in store. This is my same shade with a vanish foundation stick. And they also said that you actually just get the same shade. Oh wow, this has good coverage. Oh, right off the bat, I can definitely see it has like a luminous dewy finish, but it did a great job covering some of my imperfections. I would say that this is kind of a medium coverage. We're going to try to build it up. Here is the difference. Like, So this is the side with one layer of the foundation, and here is the side without any foundation. So definitely see some dewiness to it. Now let's build a second layer. Just focusing on my scar so that I want to cover up and a little bit of my nose. There's so much scarring today. And my veins. Mm, I think that's fine. A little bit here. Like I said, I'm not wearing any concealer today, so here is two layers of the foundation and here is without anything. Okay, now let's apply foundation on the side where I didn't put any primer. Have it a little bit of breakout. Wow. You know what's surprising is the fact that the side without the primer, it looks like it's more full coverage than this side when I applied just one layer. Like, I don't think I need to build this side up just because it covered everything right away. That is looking good. The side without the primer, it has so such a good coverage. Here is a the full coverage to almost like one and a half layers of the foundation like the second layer I just used to cover up my imperfections like my zits and whatnot that's starting to appear I don't know from where but right off the bat it's looking good I look healthy it looks like second skin but it has great coverage one thing that they actually mentioned on their Instagram page is that if you have oily skin set it with their veil translucent powder I got rid of my veil translucent powder because it clogged up my pores I think it's too drying for my dry skin so I am just going to use my 
Hourglass Ambient Edit Unlock Palette. So they said if you have oily skin, set it. But I am thinking about setting this side of my face more, and then this side, I'm just gonna apply some blush, bronzer, and highlighter. So like I said, I'm using this lighter ambient lighting shade for my under eye area. Just to lightly set it. I have a video shoot today, so this is just perfect to test out. That's why I was like, I know it's so early, but I really want to test this out and get it up for you guys before the foundation is available. I don't think I've mentioned this, but I have like really dry skin. And if you've been watching my videos, I mention that all the time and I cannot shut up about it because I mean, I don't mind because I know how hard it is for oily people to put on makeup because oily skin type it people to put on makeup because you know the makeup fades away so quickly with them but with me it's kind of hard because a lot of the foundations that come out is catered towards oily skin like they're mattifying they're long lasting so they're mattifying and whatnot so i really love it when makeup brands come up with foundations that are universal that you can use it even with dry or with the different skin types out there so that in itself is good i kind of want to set this because i don't want to ruin it but we'll leave it at that we're just setting this side. And I'm using this Luxie face brush. I know I'm like all over the place, but if you're wondering what my foundation shade is for MAC, I am an NC40. So if we're foundation twinsies, you can definitely get the beige one because I feel like it looks good. Like it's not too light, it's not too dark, and I feel like I can use it both in the summer and the winter time. Not even gonna contour my face. Just gonna apply this bronzer. I'm wearing comfy clothes today. Like I said, we have a video shoot. I wish that one day I could be in a video shoot. I don't know. Like, I could have my own video shoot, but I don't have the bandwidth for that right now. Like, I film my video on my own, edit it on my own, research the stuff that I'm using on my own. I do everything on my own while having, like, a 40-hour work week. And that's totally fine with me because I like doing YouTube as my passion and my hop, like as a hobby so that I don't get burnt out or whatnot. But I do hope that one day I could like do it full time when I have my own family so that I could technically work from home. I'm also thinking about doing a 50 facts about me mukbang just because I feel like 400 is not much for most people but for me I'm like I never thought that I would get to that especially the fact that not all of my subscribers are actually my friends well you're my friends but like not people I know from real life so that's interesting and I've always wanted to do a mukbang but right now I'm actually doing the whole 30 just to reset my whole eating healthy thing and just to cleanse my body so maybe after that we'll do a mukbang so comment down below what kind of mukbang you would want me to do I would like to do Panda Express I would also like to do Chick-fil-a but I know Chick-fil-a is not in the Philippines so but Panda Express is not in the Philippines too like I'm not making sense but like Panda Express is like Asian food like oily Asian food so that's you know, something interesting. Yeah, just comment down below what restaurant you would want me to do a mukbang for. Like, if you're wondering, for example, oh, I've seen this, like Shake Shack. There's no Shake Shack where I live, nor in and out so just take note of that. But yeah, I'd love to get your thoughts and opinions on it. We're just going to set my face using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. The reason why I'm setting it using this is because I always use this anyway whenever I have long days and I know I'm going to be out. So we'll use this. And now we're gonna apply highlighter. I was thinking of using this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist, but I really want the foundation's dewiness or radiantness to come out and not because of the spray. We're just gonna apply highlighter. I honestly love this palette. I can definitely see myself traveling with it. I sometimes use the bronzer and the highlighter as my eyeshadow. So if you want to see a full face using just this palette, I'll definitely I'm definitely up for that. Well, of course, I'm going to put on like foundation underneath because I'm such a foundation kind of girl. All right, I'm going to put on some mascara and I'll be right back to give you guys my initial thoughts on this foundation. I'm going to insert two photos right here with one with my studio lights and one with natural lighting once it gets a lot lighter, a lot lighter, a lot sunnier outside so that you guys can see how it looks with studio lights and with natural lighting. Okay. 
Hey guys, so I am back. I just put on some mascara, some lipstick, and now I'm here to talk about the Hourglass Vanish Li Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. So right off the bat, I really like how it looks on my skin. It does look like second skin, and it has pretty good coverage. I can see a little bit of veins still popping out right here, but that's the case with almost all of my foundations. Like, I have to use a concealer for that. And just a reminder for you guys, I did not put on any concealer on my face today. I just put on some blush, bronzer, and some highlighter. So, I like the finish because it's really natural. As you can see, I can still see my skin pick peeking through, but it did cover up all my blemishes. And it's really lightweight as well. Sorry, I feel like the lighting is pretty off, but yeah, it's really lightweight. I don't feel any like weighing down on my skin, and it was really blendable and super easy to work with. With the shade, I feel like this is the right shade for me for my tan skin. This is the shade beige, and I feel like I got the right undertone for it as well. This is the side that I did not set with powder. I didn't use a primer. When I was applying foundation on this side without the primer I can see that it was uh, indeed more full coverage than the side with a primer so it might be okay to skip primer like I said even though it doesn't have a primer it still looks good like I don't see any difference from this side and this side and with setting it with powder I really think that it's fine to set it with like a pressed powder like what I used today the ambient li lighting palette it was it, it's looking good on this side but I really wish that I set this side as well because I didn't really apply any concealer on my face on this side I can definitely not use like primer anymore and it will still look good but I would prefer to set it with the powder despite the fact that I have dry skin. Like I said, right off the bat, it's looking good and I'm going to insert some before pictures. Oh, no, I already inserted some before pictures. And now we are going to take this on a test. I am having a video shoot today. I'm going to be outdoors for most of the day and then I will be back here at 4 no, not 4 p.m., like 5.30, 6 p.m. So it's 7.30 a.m. right now. I might be back by like 5.30 or 6.30. So that's 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30. So that's more than 10 hours for the wear test. I just used my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is what I use with every makeup look that I have whenever I'm going out or whatnot. So yeah. I will be back in a little bit. See you guys. Hey guys, so I am back. It's been, took me a lot longer today than expected. It's been 12 hours. It's 7.30 p.m. now. And I just want to talk to you guys about the foundation. So if I'm like looking at it right now, it's completely off of my face. Like not sure if you guys can see that because of my lighting, but hold on. Not sure if, entirely sure if you guys would be able to see this, but it's completely like off of my face and for some reason I'm starting to break out on this area. Not entirely. I don't think it is the foundation just because it's only... Oh, actually there's two breakouts. Like one here. It looks like I'm having... I feel like I'm having like an allergic reaction to something. I'm not entirely sure what it is but I'm gonna zoom you guys in. I'm not sure if you guys can see that but I'm starting to have like bumps on like not like bumps but like it's starting to break out on this side of my face as well as this side which is surprising but the other areas of my face look fine so i've never had a reaction to a foundation like this before but i'm not entirely sure if it's my foundation because i also know that i haven't washed my brushes in about like a month now so that maybe that's a case maybe i need to wash my brushes but let's talk about the foundation at the onset i really like how it applied on my face it was really blendable and buildable like it didn't look cakey at all and it had like that second skin finished look it was really natural despite the fact that it was able to cover like my veins some of my redness and whatnot honestly you can really use it without a primer but i would still recommend that you use it with a primer if you know that you're gonna be out for 12 hours because this side is like completely out but this side is kind of still kind of still has that coverage and then 
definitely even though I have dry skin, I really like this area of my face wherein I set it with powder compared to this side where I didn't set it at all and just like applied my bronzer, a blush, and highlighter and whatnot. Overall, I really like it. It was really lightweight, but it's something that I wouldn't use for like an event or if a special occasion. It's more of like an everyday foundation. And for $56, yes, it could be expensive for an everyday foundation, but if you have like the money for it, go for it because I really like the finish if you're into that natural skin finish look. Like I said, I wouldn't use this for events because I don't think it's appropriate for that. It's more of under the realm of the Dior Backstage Foundation, Health Benefit Hello Happy, Makeup Forever Water Blend, that kind. So yeah, overall, I really like it. I will continue to use it and re update you guys about these um, allergies that are starting to come in up on my face. I don't think I'm allergic to any of these ingredients though because I've never had that reaction before. And I really think that it's just the brushes that I used because it's just this area. So that's it for my first impression slash wear test of the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. That was a mouthful, but yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you decided to pick up the Hourglass Foundation, do leave a comment down below. I'm interested on how it wore on you and how it worked for you. And also if you have like oily skin because I have dry skin. I don't know how it wears with for oily skin types. If you have oily skin and you tried it, do comment down below how it wore for you as well. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!